Okay. Welcome back to Nicklin's Comic Corner. Classic lesson, non classic. This episode number 2690 and double number 2584. We have two mini series here. Comic Comics 1 release basically. One to collect two mini series that were released in 2010. The other one was released recently. First up we have is Incredible Hercules, New Prince of Power, which collects Hercules, Fallen Avenger, with a two issue miniseries, and Heroic Age, Prince of Power, which is four issues. Fallen Avenger is mostly put the aftermath of the Assault and Olympus storyline, which ended the Incredible Hercules series. The only reason why they release it under this particular name because it's a continuation of that title, and plus it's two Hercules miniseries. So basically, we have the funeral for Hercules. We think it's a funeral, though it's really a miniseries. Hercules is not dead. Yep. So, one thing they revealed in this miniseries that has been largely ignored by other writers since then, that Hercules is bisexual. Yep, the writer of this miniseries wrote him as bisexual. Now, was it Parker of this miniseries? Yes, with Fred Van Lynn. There's also a back of a story called Greek Tragedy. Yes, uh, they have Ages Atlas issues in here. They put them in here as well. Prince of Power book is done by Greg Pack for Van Lynn. Um, the artwork for Fallen Avengers, most of Eric Olavi. Uh, Greek Tragedy is written by Paul Toba and Riley Brown. Or have also the Rock Age Prince of Power miniseries with Zach Howard um, Archer. And the covers are Ariel Lovey, her brother knows Edgar Diego, Coy Palm, Edgar De I just said the name. I don't know why I this twice here, it's weird. Uh, Carlo Pagion, Jason Pez, and Peter Stower. Orge of Hercules is Fred Van Lynn, and Ryan Zegwin. Like I mentioned before, the, the whole miniseries is basically like. <clears throat> and we have the Furious Loves, who show for the funeral. Which are Nomura, Snowbird, Black Widow, and Freeze Queen of the Elves. Oh yeah, and this is the issue with the imply he's he's basically had a one night stand with North Star. Yep. Yeah, then of course where by the end of the series where Armadillo Show becomes a brand new Prince of Power. Yep. He becomes a brand new Prince of Power. Uh, by the end of the miniseries, he continues the work of Finch Power. Also, he takes up the presidency of the Olympus Group. It was group building. Yep. The backup story Greek tragedy is mostly with Namora and uh, Venus. Just having a solo story for them for these two issues, and that's pretty much it. Uh, Prince of Power picks up right where Fallen Avenger lives off. We have Armadillo's chill with uh, Hercules' weapon, finding uh, Griffin. And basically, and also he keeps his ex-girlfriend, Dauphin, in, in prison and is basically in the building. Also, on top building is basically a sad Hercules, because at this point, people think he's dead. Armadillo's chill asks Her Hades about it, and of course, he's alive. And then, Valet Halfling shows up. Who is this guy? He's Loki's son. And this is not actually him. This is a hologram. So. Armadillo Show mentions he's a former number one Hulk fan. So he knows all about the Pantheon. It's like he murdered a lot of people. And the whole miniseries is kind of funny. With uh, also basically Armadillo Show trying to get Thor involved in basically this stuff. Going with, with, with his nephew. Which I believe this is the first time he's ever appeared, I can think of. I don't remember he has. So, he fights with the miniseries. And Athena's back here too. But it, and then of course Daphne herself, uh, Daphne Gorgon, a fish becomes uh, Armin new. Uh, they re, they re, basically rekindle the relationship. A lot of fun stuff here. And then by the end of the mini series, where they use the power to bring back Hercules. Yep, at the beating the bag, I have a lot of fun. And Hercules is back. Except that this scene here, Hercules being back, this is a lead into 
Chaos Swarm, which I have reviewed already. An excellent crossover. Check it out. It's awesome. This book is amazing. 10 out of 10. A lot of fun. Uh, for President Hercules, I have like three trades left, but yeah. Excuse me, but for Greg Pox Run for Hercules. We have one trade to go, and that's it. Next up, we have is a really big book, the Treasure Edition of for this mini series, Darth Vader, Black, White, and Red. Only four issues. This one, yes. Also, first thing of the library, I usually buy these ones, and these things are like thirty bucks. Now, I'm also put the main story for uh, the main story for the four issues is basically Jason Aaron's story. Which is basically Showdown. Oh, was Leonard Kirk on the artwork for those. We have Pac Man Duty and Escape Endless Mercy Day of Purpose, which was the uh, another book by him I'm talking about. Dan Warren Johnson is Annihilated. Incubate is Steve Lane and David uh, Paul Davison. Uh, Dissolution of Hope is Tarek Gobek, who briefly wrote Venom. I believe it's also the cover for Carnage. V Victoria Young and Merck Kissy the Power. The Mac community is Mark Brennan and Stephen Lee. Regional Howard Frank is written by Frank Terror for Danny Earls. Uh, this story here is a lot like it says. Basically, Vader goes back to basically Hoth, goes to Base, and fights a Wampa. <laughs> Even shots up his arm like, 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 like his son did in the movie. The story itself is a lot of fun. Also, he kills a general. Yep. But the story itself is a lot of fun. Now, as for Showdown. This four-part story it is mostly put on, in, in the Outer Rim on Horax. Or, and uh, one, I think it was in the, uh, and of course you find a guy who thinks he's Vader's father. It says to the end of the story, like, I'm no one's son. There's a lot of really good imagery here. Uh, I'm not going to show up because basically it's a bit grotesque, but yeah, really fun stuff here. I really enjoy this. I kind of wish this series was longer because this series is, is awesome. Yeah. A lot of really good stories here. And I do recommend... Oh, by the way, the Dave Perper story, if you're really curious about that, I want to talk about this one, which is uh, Endless Mercy. I think that, uh, that comes right after issue two. It's the next story in this one. I did. So Endless Mercy is mostly put Vader with Stormtroopers fighting a group of, of um, well it looks like a group of, of Aliens, which look a lot like xenomorphs. You could say this is beta versus xenomorphs, but they're, they, they're basically Sith hunters. Which interesting story. The fact that it's all focused on him, but this book is just pure awesome as his finest, and I really wish they made this ongoing. But they probably can't because you have Vader book. You have one Vader book, don't you have two? I'll give this book a nine out of ten. Yep. So yes, that's a typical view. Next up, more Sentai and then one more comic corner that's on the anime. Okay, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe to notifications, and do not hit the dislike button, right?